hi everyone welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted in over a month which is quite a long time to be honest and i'm actually just gonna try and do this whole video in one take and try and like edit on the bart to christian actually i'm gonna go see him today let's just start i guess so i always use the covergirl clean matte bb cream um i used to use foundation but i feel like bb cream is just so much like it's just a lot thinner and it just kind of covers those imperfections where as foundations they always show up pretty like thick sometimes and i just like wipe it on my face my mirror is like right here by the way so if i'm looking in that direction that's basically why but yeah, I guess I just wanted to post a video since I don't want my YouTube channel to die even though I've kind of been lazy and not making videos lately and stuff. Yeah, and I kind of just like to use this brush to put it all over from Wet n Wild. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of just do strokes everywhere and I, I look like a crazy person. <laughs> but that's that's okay, because we're gonna blend it all in, and it's gonna look good. Whoa! Dropping my makeup brushes. Ooh. And then I like to use my Real Techniques sponge. I don't know, I'm like so cheap, because I'm just like, I don't think I'll ever want to spend $20 on a beauty blender, just because, dude, that's so expensive, like, or I don't know, I guess... It's like hard for me to justify $20 on a sponge. But you know, if you love it and it works for you and everything, then go right ahead. That's totally fine. I wanted to do something what Kathleen Lights does where she kind of does her random rambles and just kind of talk about my life and my job and everything. So, so far I've been at my job for seven weeks now. I'm not really sure why I'm counting by week and not just by month. Um, but basically, I've definitely learned a lot, but I'm very stressed since I have like five events coming up in September, and that's that's a lot to plan, to like lock in for venues and speakers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out, but I know everything's going to be fine because I have a bomb manager, and she's so great. Like, she just answers all of my annoying questions. I am literally one of the most annoying people because I'm just like, and how do we do this? And like, how are we going to lock this down and stuff like that? And then I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, Concealer. Oh, yeah. I bought this because I fell into the hype. I was like, I want to try Tarte Shape Tape. And I just can't bring myself to pay so much for concealer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I kind of just do little lines underneath my eyes. This is just my makeup routine. Like, I know I'm like definitely not a makeup artist. And I definitely just try my best at doing makeup. So, you know, A for effort if you think about it. But I kind of go back in and dab underneath just my under eyes. But yeah, I don't know. I've been talking a lot with friends about how life has been going. How lists of things that scare me, like buying a house or buying a car or just being in debt in general. I've been listening to the Minimalist podcast and basically they always say like, no debt is good debt. And that's honestly so true. I, I don't know, just the thought of being in debt scares me. And then I like to grab my elf, whoop, my elf powder brush and then the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm trying to get this out of my collection because if you don't know, I am trying to go towards like cruelty-free makeup. I'm trying to support brands that don't test on animals. But I've been talking to a lot of friends about this too. I feel like I'm having such a tough time right now to live a morally good life because I'm trying to be cruelty-free but also zero waste. And I don't know. I've been feeling very conflicted because I'm just like, I like wake up in the morning and I'll just be like... I'll pick up like my plastic toothbrush and I'll pick up like my toothpaste that's like in a plastic container and I'll just like brush my teeth and I'm like oh my god I'm absolutely terrible <laughs> I'm just I don't know it's like it's like a struggle but um yeah I'm trying to see if I can just live 
a better life somehow i don't know it's like so confusing if i'm out and i just don't have my boba straw on me i just I just feel guilty like getting boba because I'm like oh like I should have my boba straw on me so that way I don't feel as bad because you know like straws end up in the landfill which could end up in sea turtles. I'm gonna use my elf blush brush. I've been using this so much. I basically only own wet and wild and elf brushes because they work the same as a $20 brush. I don't know I've never tried $20 brushes so I guess I would never know but for me, it works, and I like the way my makeup looks. I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. I got this for such a steal. I went to Walmart one time, and I bought this because it was on sale for $5, and I was like, yes. And I just, like, bought it, and it's lasted me, like, a year. And I finally hit pan in it. I kind of just try my best with makeup. I just feel like I watched like one video on blush and one on highlight and then I was like okay I guess that's how I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life and I mean so far I think it's been okay and I just kind of put it on and yep this lighting is just not being nice to me today okay I just kind of I try to like put on some but not too much I guess my life has been very hectic I feel like I've just been like trying to hang out with so many people but then like after work you're just so exhausted like I feel like college did not prepare me for this because when you're in high school and you're so used to going like to school at the same time every single day and then like you go to college and you get to choose your own classes and like you ch can choose your classes for the afternoon and that can be just like so terrible for when you get a real job because like you can go into class at 2 p.m. when you go to work it's like you have to show up every day around like maybe 8 or if you're an engineer maybe like 10 and you have to stay until like 5 and it's like this like schedule that hits you every day it's like you're just so excited for the weekend and you're just like oh my god Friday thank god it's Friday like I feel like I always kind of do that where I'm like oh thank god it's Friday but I'm not like oh I hate my job I'm just like oh my god I'm just so tired because like the commute is just so rough for me I think today I'm going to glow a ton with my Morphe 501 brush. Oh, actually, yeah, this one's like my only Morphe brush because I saw Tati use it and I was just like, well, I need to up my highlight game. So just put it on the my parts of my cheekbones. Oh my gosh. Look at that glow. Like glow, no glow. Glow, no glow. Oh my gosh, like you can just see it moving. Also, I hit pan on this one because I use it all the time. There was like this time where I just like went crazy and I just used so much. Like I went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium with Christian and I like went ham. And then Christian was like, that was a lot. Like he's so used to me wearing high, but he was like, that was a lot. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Now I'm going to attempt to do eyeshadow i guess i know my friends who are gonna watch this are gonna be like oh my gosh we gave you those hauls on your birthday and i always reach for the same wet and wet walking on eggshells palette but look i've like hit pan like i'm very proud of myself i feel like i need to watch more makeup tutorial videos but like i just i don't know i'm terrible i get so bored like i just i can't follow it because i'm just like i'm so bored and I mean my old excuse used to be like I don't have the product so I can't do the same thing but like if you think about it like every eyeshadow is kind of warm toned not every but like a lot of them and I feel like they all try to sell you on them and I feel like new makeup just comes out so often I can't keep up like Colourpop keeps coming out with like a new palette I swear every week or something I'm just so confused because I'm like what? I got an email today from Ulta that was like, the Kylie birthday palette from 2018 is on sale because like today is her birthday. And I was like, I, I, I have never seen this palette before. I feel like makeup releases went really, really crazy. I was talking about this with my manager yesterday and I was saying about how like in 2017, that was like the hype of like liquid matte lipsticks, which are so uncomfortable and so drying for me. But I like bought them because I like fell into like the hype and everything. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I need them. And then I've probably worn them maybe like five or 10 times in between five to 10 times. And I'm just like, 
this is drying I hate this but I'm like really glad because if you don't know I used to be super addicted to makeup everyone probably knew this especially people that like came over and hung out in my room especially my roommates Selena and Kara oh my gosh you guys know <laughs> but basically I went crazy I bought so much makeup so I'm just trying to get through as much as I can and I have this Japanese eyelash curler and I got this at Marshall's for like maybe three to five dollars oh, I feel like this kind of process like just really scares me sometimes I don't know it's like a tool that's so close to your eye you know I got the Ulta birthday gift which is the um, Lancome Monsieur big mascara in the travel size and I really want to try it and when they said volume they really meant volume I personally like mascaras with more length and I definitely feel like it cosmetics superhero mascara nailed it for me but at this I got it as a birthday gift from Ulta last year and I was like whoa this is so good um I feel like such a hypocrite because technically Lancome is not cruelty free, but I picked it up because it was free and it was a birthday gift. But I know I'm I'm morally conflicting myself. I'm confused as well. The it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is like it was so nice. I was like, wow, it gave me so much length, and I swear it lasted throughout the day. And I would show Christian, I'd be like, look, look at my lashes, like look at them, and he'd be like, they're really long. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I really like it, but I also just, I don't know, spending over $20 on makeup for me is like a really difficult thing. That's why I feel like I'm just better into drugstore items or dupes or like, it's just like, I feel like there will always be an item that can just kind of dupe high-end items. So, yeah, this is my look. Ooh, that glow though. This lighting is like not doing it justice. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. I'm so dumb. I didn't even put on a lip color yet. I feel like, okay, I've been using this EOS lip balm, which I bought before I tried to become cruelty free. And I would call myself mostly cruelty free, but I would definitely say that I am still working on it and stuff like that. I need to be like cruelty free and like zero waste. But what lip do I want to put on today actually? I feel like I just want to put on my Essence lip gloss. I don't really know the name of it anymore because I'm actually just so close to finishing it. Ugh, it's so glowy. Like look at this. I feel like I'm just gonna attempt to do these all the time now where I just do one take and I'm just like yep that's the vlog or video for today and just edit from that because I don't know I just see so many youtubers and I just kind of think like you know their videos are super high quality and I can see why they have a ton of subscribers but I mean I will need to see when I get dedicated enough to try and put in a lot more effort into these videos, especially since I get really tired. I just want to relax on weekends, which is why I've been super lazy with videos as well. But I feel like it's just easy because I just need to turn on the camera and like start recording. Um, yeah, so I guess this is my look. Oh my gosh, it is so glowy. Oh, I love it. I feel like super like glammed out. Which I know this is like not as much as it could be, but yeah, I guess that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.